Hi everyone and welcome back to the 2017 Junior Cadet Nationals here at the Medway Park in Gillingham. And next on the live stream we have the Junior Girls semi-final between Zana Hall of Middlesex and Charlotte Bardsley from Staffordshire at the near side. And they take on Gory Doohan from Yorkshire and Molly Patterson from Norfolk. Charlotte Barty and Zana Hall, the number two seeds, taking on the number three seeds of Duhan and Patterson. And a mixture of styles with, with uh, Charlotte and Zana. Zana, defensive style. Mixing up, chopping the ball, putting backspin on the ball, and with a pimple brubber on one side. It's on the red side for her. And also combining attack as well, as we see there, trying to get that forehand in. And also being left-handed as well, so a mixed bag when looking at the style of play of Zana. Coupled with the attacking play of Charlotte Bardsley. Nico Caltabiano just giving a, a slight warning there about the serve, make sure to throw the ball up high enough and straight enough. And Molly Patterson really utilizing that backhand serve. We saw that earlier on in the mixed doubles as well. Semi-final there where she paired with Rhys Shamdahl, one of her teammates at the National Talent Academy. Oh, good counter top swing from Molly Patterson. Gory sent it up well. And then well followed up by Molly Patterson. And it's the number three seeds who open up an early lead at 6 4. Oh, a bit lucky there. The push just hitting the white tape on the net. Took the pace out of the board, just making it over. Charlotte stepped in a bit too soon for, for my liking. The ball came long, but she'd already decided she was going to push the ball. Serve came quite long there. 
could have got in and put the pressure on. Corey there just a bit too far away. Ball hitting the edge of a bat and sends the ball right off the end. That's better from Gory Doohan. Just nicely plays Topson just down the middle. I think for the number three seeds that needs to be a point of initial attack. Getting down the middle of the table. The movement of Charlotte Bardsley and Zana Hall isn't quite right. They can have all sorts of difficulties. However, they can change the timing well. Charlotte up at the table, Zana a little bit further off. themselves back into it level eight all Zana with the serve good serve coming around the side reverse spin and back spin Gory trying to touch it short didn't quite do enough and this time Gory being fortunate the ball just clipping off the top of the net They're trying to retrieve it back but sits the ball up and we're nine all Both sides just trying to keep things short. Tactical play around the net. That's the number two seeds who give themselves the first game point. Molly just missed time in the, the backhand. Gives a point to Charlotte and Zana, and they take this first game 11 9. So a mixed bag for the first game, really. Both sides just trying to find each other out. Even though they know each other well from a singles point of view, it's a whole different game when it comes to doubles and how the combinations work out and how they play together is something they need to work out from each other. But number two seeds get through the first one. They're getting some advice from De La Gito, very experienced coach down at Wensum Table Tennis Club in Norwich. Worked with Charlotte Barsley yesterday. Lots of knowledge and experience. Molly Patterson and Gory Doohan speaking with Pete Garvey from Hull YPI Table Tennis Club. Pete, a coach on the circuit for many years. And really just a case of getting them settled down. I think them trying to play down that middle is going to be really key. Right, first top spin in. And they just need to be ready to follow it up. There's going to be a lot of mixture of pace. So Molly and Gory need to be sure that they're ready and understand what's happening. Good forehand from Molly Patterson. ball early, didn't wait for it to kick through. And they need to do that more. Oh, again well picked up. The ball was kept nice and tight there from both sides. Molly just picking up the loose one. But took good care with it as well. Oh Charlotte not happy there. Serving off. And now the number three seeds open up initial lead at 3-1. Again, a tight exchange from both sides. You can see the, the number three seeds trying to find ways that they can get in with the attack first. Just need to make sure they clear what spins happening with the ball. If Zana's using her long pimples. It's going to give more or less spin to generate back to them. And if you're not clear on what's happening with the ball, it can cause you all sorts of problems. Oh, well played. Corey and Molly tying them up nicely there. And this is what Charlotte and Zana need to be careful of. So they don't get pushed back. It needs to be Zana slightly back, but Charlotte up at the table. 
That was a chance. Just popped it off the end. But Molly and Gorey have a three-point lead in this second game. Good top swim from Charlotte Bardsley. Needs to sniff those out. Every time she plays that four on top swim, generally she wins the point. Or she sets her partner up. So I'd like to see a look at that a little bit more. Zana trying to change things up there. And that's the really good thing with Zana's style. Not out and out defence. The ball's there to take, she'll attack it. So as a player, you're constantly trying to find a way to wear her down because she'll cover a lot of courts, but she'll also punish anything loose as well. So a difficult style to play against, but the pair of Gory Duhan and Molly Patterson dealing with it nicely. And lead 8-4 in his second game. Good top swim for Molly. This time going wide into the backhand, so that Molly moved more to the middle. So good awareness from Molly Patterson. Saw the gap. Place it nicely. Gives them another point on their side. And that ball off the end gives Gory Duhan and Molly Patterson six game points here in game two. Oh, good top spin from Zana Hall back from the table. Spinny and deep, ball looping high in the air, but then kicking as it hits the table. That miss from Molly, from Charlotte Barty, sorry, gives Gory Duhan and Molly Patterson the number three seeds, the second game. 11 5, and they level this final at one game all. So a strong game from Gory Duhan and Molly Patterson. Commanded very much from the outset. Combined so well and how they followed it up. Managed to tie Zana and Charlotte up a few times. Get them pushed back from the table. Zana and Charlotte just need to be a bit more clear on what they're going to do and how they're going to play this Charlotte when she gets that four on top spin in. As I said before, generally winning the point or setting her partner up. I think she needs to stay closer with Zana, just slightly off the table where she can combine what she does. And that change of timing, change of spin would be very difficult to deal with. They're getting opportunities to attack a serve and Charlotte really needs to take those on. But we'll see here, game three, huge game in this girls' semi-final. Great play. Molly Patterson, Gory Duhan, patient. Happy to wait for the opening. It was really a calculated rally from the pair. Roll the ball on. And wait for the chance. Good block from Charlotte Bardsley on that last one. Came on the outside of the ball more. Of Molly Patterson. Put that push in the net. It's an easy point to give away. Can't afford to do that. And that's where this pair, the number two seeds, can be really, really devastating. Charlotte tops it up at the table. Zana tops it away from the table. And even though it's the same spin, the ball's doing different things. Sometimes coming through quicker. Sometimes hitting the ball, then skidding, then kicking up difficult to play against and that's what I like to see from this number two seeded pair real clever use of spin and position but Molly and Gory are dealing with things well and actually at times just taking the speed out of the rally so Charlotte waiting for the ball to come through and it isn't quite and with Zana sometimes away from the table and the ball not coming through, she's having to take the ball quite late and nearer the floor. Means she can't get as much spin on the ball and control the height of it. 
there. That's really good from Charlotte. Takes it early. Uses the spin on the ball. A real fine contact. Actually gives some of the spin back. So the ball comes through awkwardly. And there, that forehand again. Gets that forehand in. Wins the point. So, number two seeds open up a lead. Lead 6-3, have one serve left. We were just a bit lucky there. Shall I got the forehand in? The forehand coming back, just touching the top of the net. But that's where this number three seeded pair have been really good. Just rolling the top spin on. Lots of spin, but the ball not coming through quickly. And the margin of error looks incredibly low, so the unforced errors are reduced. It keeps them in the rally. But they're still playing catch up in this third game. You need to make sure they don't start backing away from the table. They've got to stay up, command the pace of the rally. And that's when they need to be careful because Zana can just step in and play that top spin. Zana and Charlotte on the attack massively there. I think Molly missed an opportunity earlier on. The serve came through longer. Needs to attack those. Oh, well round there from Corey Doohan, got right around the back in corner. Had to play the top spin more from off a hip. Just threw her elbow and wrist at it. Spun the ball well. Charlotte trying to counter it, but too much top spin to deal with on that one. Oh, well played. It was a good counter attack, but Molly just blocking it well. Nice and early. And they bring themselves right back into it. Level 8 all. a chance to constructed it well top spin push wait for the right one top spin just touching the top of the net and again Molly looking for the counter top spin Charlotte with that foreign top spin winning the point forcing the error and it gives them two game points running for that forehand but it was just too much so they haven't won it yet one game point left can they take it this time good rally to finish that was it 10 all A real tactical rally there. And Gori just played the simplest of backhands, just had to get the ball on the table and levels things. Molly there, desperate to get that top spin in. She knows she needs to look for it. Just needs to remember that, keep that spin on the ball. Not so much about the speed and the power. The spin is key. Well, that ball at the end there gives the point to Charlotte and Zana and they take the third game 12-10 and lead this semi-final two games to one. So a strong game by both sides. Charlotte for me, whenever she gets that four on top spin in, nine times out of ten wins the point. Not necessarily by hitting a pass her opponent, just cause them lots of problems, forcing them to miss time, miss hit. So she can look for that top spin at every opportunity. She gives her and her partner a real chance. Zana trying to mix things up. And what I like 
in that game is towards the end, especially the second half. Playing how I thought they should play. Charlotte a little bit closer. Zana mixing up between being further away and then a bit closer. Looking for the top spin as well as the chop. Molly and Glory, I think they've got their game to take it the distance. Just need to keep the resolve right through at the end. Stick to the plan and keep things simple. Calculated risks, tactically strong. And they can be right there with this, with the number two seed. So nothing in it really, but it's the number two seeds who have the edge at, oh, by one game. That was a chance there for Charlotte. A tentative push from Molly. Ball was sat up and a rare miss from Charlotte. Great attacking rally. Sharp and Zana look like they were just trying to step things up a little bit. But clever play. Not phased. Molly Patterson and Gory do are not phased by the attack in the previous rally. Just happy to block the ball if needed. Get them tied up over on the forehand. Switch it with a block. Battle of Wills in this match. A change of receive from Zana, receiving it with the pimples there. So we've got the backspin serve. Pushed through with the pimples, ball kept low, but the spin different. And then the top spin going off the end. And again, when Gore and Molly playing that. Tops with just more spin, less pace. It's really causing Charlotte and Zana a lot of problems. It's a real seesaw match in game here. One point one way, one point the other. Nothing in it. Lucky there. Well, he played a nice backhand. Charlotte got the foreign in again, just touching the top of that. Just completely changing the dynamic of what the ball's doing. So now we're coming into the crucial points in the game. Literally neck and neck. After trailing by two, pull two back, and we'll level at six all. And that was a real good backhand from Molly Patterson. Normally tended to go cross court there, down the line. Caught her opponents out. So that change of direction where she plays that top spin, I think will be key. Disappointed with that one, and I understand why. But she knows the ball was there for the taking. So it's who can hold their nerve, who can be strong. Great forehand. Molly stepping things up. And the two seeds now they're only four points away from booking a place in a final. Sure, Gallery and Molly have got something to say about that. As you can see there, Molly stepping round, gets that forehand in. Good energy on court. Touch, touch, rally. Change things up. So, eight all. And timeout called. Empire's just checking which side has called it. It's the size of Molly Patterson, Gory Doohan. Pete Garvey may have some tactical information. 
he wants to give. Or maybe he just wants to settle them down. Eight all. What can they do here? Maybe it's a case of settling them down in these pressure points. They're there with them. But they need to be brave and just keep taking it one point at a time. Charlotte and Zana will be wanting to use their experience. Causing problems, forcing them to try and do too much. <laughs> so here we go, eight all. Charlotte and Zana, three points away from a place in the final. Molly and Corey want to take this the distance. Have the serve. Oh, unlucky there. Corey got the top one in first. They just had to retrieve the ball again, just touch the net. Such a fine margin. Oh, but great follow up. Good teamwork. Corey set it up with the first top spin. Now oh, this time they're changing it up, Zana getting a topspin in. Again she just topspins it, more spin, deep, ball looping through the air. Gives himself game point. But we're going all the way to Juice now, 10 all. Being a brilliant match up here, nothing in it. Good rally. Molly and Gory threw everything at it. It was just that last ball coming back. Play with a bit more top spin. So it wasn't just a case of putting the ball on, need to get over it more. And Charlotte and Zana giving themselves another match point. That push in the net, Charlotte not happy. Straightforward push for her, goes in the net, levels things at 11 all. Zana trying to get the pimples in but just sat the ball up and now it swings the other way. Molly and Gory with game point, can I level this match at 2-2? Yes they can, push off the end. Gives them the point and the game, they take it 13 level and this semi-final will go the distance at two games all. So Charlotte and Zana will be really disappointed there, had two chances to take it. But all credit to Gory Duhan and Molly Patterson. Stayed strong even when luck went against them. Stuck to the plan, were brave, unfazed by the situation. And it paid off for them in the end. So it's all to play for. It's now a race to the finish. Gory and Molly need to look to get in with the top spin first. When they do that, they'll give themselves a real chance. I think Zana can be very receive a little bit more, try and use the pimples a little bit more. May cause one or two problems or set Charlotte up for that forehand. That forehand has been a real good weapon for Charlotte. When the other pair get in first, it's causing them some problems. So, all about the start now. We're in the fifth and final game. The change ends at five. First point goes the number three seeds. Way. Oh, well played. Started off like the first rally. Push, push. Both sides looking for an opening. Then Gory in with a spinny top spin. 
And then they were in the driving seat after that. Uh, Molly there, devastating forehand. Charlotte not happy. Great start for Gory and Molly in this deciding game, going 3 0 up. So, what will Zana and Charlotte do here? They need to turn things around quickly. Get that top spin in, faster push coming through from Charlotte. This time Zana getting a top spin in. Gory reaching with the forearm block. And they're just creeping back into this one. Oh, good change of direction. And after being 3 0 down. The number two seeds pull the way back in. And the lead is now gone. And we'll level at 3 3. Discussion about what served to do between Molly and Gory. Every point absolutely crucial. Charlotte just wondering what's happened there. Ball seemed to drop off. Maybe the bat was a little bit damp. Ball can't grip then and the ball just drops off the bat. So 4-4, four, four, Zana with the serve. Corey gets in, counter top spin. Good change of direction, Zana just top edging the ball. And at the change of ends, Molly Patterson and Gory Doohan lead by one. But absolutely nothing in this one. play that tops in nicely down the middle well, they couldn't quite get round enough to follow it up yeah, that push is a little bit more aggressive more backspin on harder to lift and now it swings the other way and Charlotte Baz and Zano Hall have got the lead back Oh, brilliant backhand from Charlotte Barsley, running into the table, got pushed back, saw the chance, came running in, drove the ball well, and now the number two seeds give himself a two-point cushion, lead 7-5, have the serve, big point now. Oh, that was a chance, because Zana got a bit of good fortune. Totson just clipped the top of the net. Molly and Gory dealt with it, as they have done all match. There, change with the rubber. Push with the pimples. Misread the spin. But they've managed to keep that two-point cushion. Three points away from booking their place in this year's final. Uh, Molly getting in first. Good topspin down the middle. Pulls one back. Oh, it was, it was a chance. Corey play with more topspin. Zana chopped with the pimples. So, all that spin coming back. Comes back as backspin, and Molly just misreading the amount on it. Oh, clip the top of the net, but again, down that backhand corner. Saw Charlotte moved over to the middle. These are the pressure points. It's all play for. Ooh, just off the side. It's the right shot to go for. But Zana Hall and Charlotte Barsley, the number two seeds, have two match points.
And they pull one back. Gory throwing everything to that top spin. Making sure it's spinny down the middle on the table. One match point saved. Can they take it to Juice? Yes, they can. Zana trying to get the pimples in. So, 10 all. One serve each. Need to win by two. Who can be brave? Well, it shows there. Molly and Gory can. Molly stepping around nicer there around the backhand. And now it's Molly Patterson, Gory Doohan, the number three seeds who have their first match point. And they've done it. Fantastic play from Molly Patterson and Gory Doohan. Serve well, ball sits up. Molly puts it away. And it's the number three seeds, Molly Patterson and Gory Doohan, who put their place in the 2017 Junior Girls Doubles Final.